Okay, well, I wanted to show you how to do this arithmetic sequence problem. And this is kind of like the tougher of the problems because they don't give you any like um, initial information, I guess. And so um, notice here it says a sub 5 equals negative 31 and a sub 8 equals negative 49. So let's just talk language. a sub 5 really just means um, nth term. And so I'm... Uh, a it really just means fifth term, rather. Um, so fifth term, I'll write that down for you. So um, here we got fifth term. So if you were looking at like um, this comma, this comma, this comma, this comma, this, there's negative 31 hanging out in the fifth term. And then that means that this is the eighth term. So six, seven, Eight. So there's negative 49. And so what they want you to do is they want to find the first five terms. Well, they've given you the first, um, the fifth term. But now that means you have to figure out how to get these four terms based on the piece, two pieces of information they gave you. Um, there are several ways to do this. Um, remember that arithmetic is meaning meaning like plus, 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 plus. So they're adding something here, they're adding something here, and they're adding something here, and they're adding something here to get to that next term. And so there's many ways to do it. Um, I think the easiest way to do it is just thinking about, okay, well, since they keep adding things to it, how many time how many times did they add? add it to here, to here, and to here to get there. So um, we call this letter the D, and it stands for common difference. So if you notice, there's D, D, D. This number would all be the same. So notice they're saying negative 31 plus 3 Ds is equal to negative 49. Does that make sense? So then we could add 31 to both sides. Um, Sorry, let me back it up. The reason why this makes sense is because you're basically adding the difference to get to the next term, and then you add the difference again to get to the ne next term, and then add the difference to that to get to the next term. So you're basically adding three Ds to get to the eighth term. See, one, two, three. Okay, so continuing, just, you know, solve this like you would in Algebra 1. No problem, negative 18. And so that means that D is negative 6. Now, if this still doesn't make sense to you, let me go over here and erase these Ds for you really quick. And say, okay, well, since D is negative 6, that implies that the negative 6 goes here, the negative 6 goes here, and the negative 6 goes here, right? Okay, so negative 31 minus 6 is negative 37. And negative 37 minus 6 is negative 43. If I'm doing this right, negative 43 minus 6 is negative 49. Yay! Okay, but at the same time, we found two terms that they didn't even ask for. But now that we've established that pattern, now we can kind of go backwards. So, um, let me let me just write this here. This is still going to be negative 6. This common difference here, it's common, meaning this is going to be a negative 6 here, this is here, and this is here. All of them is going to be a negative 6. Okay, so this question basically is asking you what. So this is what minus 6 gives you negative 31. Does that make sense? So instead of subtracting 6 to get to this number, we're going to add 6, which makes it 25, equals that blue question mark. Does that make sense? Um, oh, sorry, negative 25. So that's negative 25. And again, I can check this by going like this. Negative 25 minus 6 is negative 31. And now I've established the pattern. To go left, I add 6. So I'm going to keep a negative 6 there, because again, it's a common difference. It's got to stay there. Um, if I want to go left, I'm going to add 6, and if I want to go right, like this, psh, I'm going to go subtract 6. So negative 25 plus 6 is that negative 19. Let me check. Negative 19 minus 6, negative 25. And then again, I'm going to add 6 again. I'm going to get that negative 13. Add 6 again. I'm going to get that negative 7. And there you go. So they wanted to know my first five terms. There they are. One, two, three, four. Ta-da. 
there they are, five terms. Um, there's a whole other different way to do that, and you could do it this way. Um, but I kind of like this short and sweet method because it totally makes sense and it goes based on all the definitions and I've kind of explained.